Hello everyone, I am Hemant Pant. You are watching my YouTube channel Pharmacy with Hemant. Today I am going to explain about factor affecting drug absorption, which includes pharmaceutical factors and patient related factors. So in this video, I will cover pharmaceutical factors affecting drug absorption, whereas patient related factor will be included in my upcoming video. Absorption of drug is affected by several physicochemical properties of drug substances such as solubility, particle size, polymorphism, salt form, lipophilicity, and pKa of drugs, which we are going to explain individually in detail. First physicochemical properties of drug which affect absorption is solubility and dissolution rate. Dissolution is defined as the maximum amount of solute dissolved in a given solution under a standard condition of temperature, pressure, and pH. And dissolution rate is defined as the amount of solute substance that goes into solution per unit time under a standard condition of temperature, pressure, pH, solvent composition, and constant solid surface area. Whenever we take any oral solid resist form, such as tablet capsules, first they should disintegrate in the small solid drug particles. After disintegrating, they should dissolve where it is the rate determining step for lipophilic drug. They are not easily dissolved in the gastric fluid. Drug is solubilized in the gastric fluid which helps to absorb. So higher the solubility, greater will be the absorption and faster the dissolution, higher will be the absorption of the drug. Another physiochemical properties affecting drug absorption is particle size and effective surface area. Smaller the particle particle size of drug, greater will be the surface area. If the greater will be the surface area, obviously the drug absorption will be the higher. Decrease in particle size can be accomplished by micronization, that is converting drug into the small particle. This hydroxycomerin, digoxin, gratiofulvin, nitrofurantoin, and tolbutamide, these are the examples whose absorption is increased by the reduction in the particle size. Next one is polymorphism and amorphism. Many compounds from crystals with different molecular arrangement are polymorphs. These polymorphs may have different physical properties such as dissolution rate and solubility. You can see in the picture given on your left hand side. These are the polymorphs of carbon. One is graphite, charcoal and diamond. So they all are made up of carbon but they have different physical properties such as diamond is the hardest thing whereas graphite is the soft the both of them are made up of same element that is carbon amorphous form have greater aqueous solubility than the crystalline because energy required for moving a molecule from crystalline form to solution is more when compared to that of the amorphous form you can see one example is there Amorphous form of novobiocene is 10 times more soluble than crystalline form. Novobiocene is one of the antibiotic which is obtained from fungus called Streptomyces naivius and it is effective against the actinobacteria. Next one is hydrates or solvates. Solvent molecules incorporated in the crystal lattice of solid are called solvates. When the solvent is water, the form is called hydrates. An hydrous form of drug has better aqueous solubility than its hydrous form. An anhydrous form of theophylline and ampicillin have more solubility than their monohydrate and trihydrate form. Anhydrous means no water will be present in the molecular structure. If there is no water present in the molecule, then they will be readily solubilized in the water. Next one is salt form of drugs. As we know that most of the drugs are weak acid or bases on one of the easiest methods to increase their solubility and dissolution rate is converting them into their salt forms. Generally a weak acidic drug is prepared as its strong basic salt. As you can see there is one picture. There is the different salt has different solubility and absorbability. Physiostigmine salicylate which solubility is 1 gram per 75 ml of water whereas physiostigmine sulfate have 1 gram per 4 ml of solubility. So physiostigmine sulfate will be readily absorbed in our body 
compared to physiostigma in salicylate. You can see another example is also there. There is potassium salt, calcium salt, free acid and benzathine salt. You can see potassium salt is more readily absorbed in our body compared to another. Second one is calcium salt will be more absorbed than the benzathine salt and free acid and benzathine salt will be less absorbed it won't be absorbed from our body next one is drug pka and giph the drugs primarily transported across the biomembrane by passive diffusion is governed by the dissociation constant the lipid solubility of the unionized drug the ph of absorption site the percentage drug ionized at a particular ps is explained by henderson hanselberg equation which is also known as hh equation so lesser the ionization of drug greater will be the absorption and if the drug will be ionized there will be less absorption of drug through the intestine as you already know that acidic drug are readily absorbed from our stomach whereas weak drug are absorbed from our basic environment that is from small intestine because acidic drug are in unionized form in our stomach next physiochemical property affecting drug absorption is lipophilicity of the drug drugs should have sufficient aqueous solubility to dissolve and soothe at absorption site as we discussed in the first factor and lipid solubility high enough to facilitate the partitioning of the drug in the lipoidal biomembrane as you see in the picture that is drug which is hydrophilic can't enter through our cell membrane whereas next drug is there with lipid drug prodrug which have lip lipophilicity so it can easily cross through our plasma membrane as you already know that our plasma membrane or cell membrane is made up of lipoidal phosphate bilayer this is the end of physiochemical properties of drug. Now, the doses form characteristic which affect the absorption of drug is disintegration time, dissolution time, pharmaceutical excipients, nature and doses form, product age and storage condition and the manufacturing variable which we will see in detail. Disintegration time. It is important for solid doses form like tablet and capsules. Longer the disintegration time, slower will be the dissolution and absorption. As you already know that addition of binding agent will increase the hardness of tablets disintegration can be improved by adding certain disintegrants and weighting agents for example coated tablet have longer disintegration time whereas effervescent tablet and dispersible tablet have zero disintegration time even chewable tablet also doesn't affect because they are chewed in our mouth so that disintegration time will be zero for chewable tablets you can see in the picture disintegration means breaking down of doses form into small particle to convert them into solution next one is solution dissolution time dissolution is a process in which a solid substance solubilizes in a given solvent and dissolution time is also an important factor which affects the drug absorption as you know that without dissolution of drug they can't they can't get absorbed through our site of absorption so for absorption of any doses form this would be dissolved in our gi content or gi fluid third one is pharmaceutical excipient more the number of excipient in the doses form more complex it is and greater the potential for absorption and biology problems pharmaceutical excipients means those chemicals which are used to give some physical structure or physical form of doses form such as tablet capsule suspension solutions etc some excipients used in various doses forms are vehicle diluents binders and granulating as in disintegrants suspending agents surfactants and coating where you can see if the vehicle is if our vehicle is uh, water soluble that is hydrophilic then the absorption will be higher if our diluents will be hydrophilic hydrophilic they will easily go in solution form so that absorption will increase if the binders are less used in tablet and granules so that they can disintegrate in short time and convert in the solution which are readily absorbed from our body disintegrants means the 
excipient which is used to break tablets or granules so if large amount of disintegrants is added in tablet means the tablet or capsule or granules will readily break down in a small particles so that they can go in solution form suspending agent and viscosity agents are used for the suspension doses form and some surfactant if some drug is hydrophobic in nature so surfactants are used to make them solubilize in our gastric fluid and coating is done just to protect our drug from the unsuitable environment such as omeprazole raviprazole pantoprazole which are protected from our gastric acid by enteric coating and another one is the absorption of drug is depends on the nature and doses form so you can see in this picture that is if we are taking tablet it should first disintegrate dissolve in the gastric fluid then only it can pass in our systemic circulation but if you are taking solution means this disintegration and dissolution steps are bypassed so that they can easily enter in our systemic circulation so there is a chronology that a tablet will absorb late then the capsules powders suspension emulsion and the solution the fastest absorbing uh, doses form is the solution through the git next one is product is and storage condition product aging and storage condition can adversely affect the absorption by changing in especially the physiochemical properties of the doses form for example pre precipitation of the drug in solution if you are keeping some solution for a long time the salt particles might segregate and might precipitate which cannot be remixed later while using another is hardening of tablet if you are keeping some tablets for a longer time longer time because of their excipient as well as active drug ingredient they might increase the disintegration time which will affect the absorption of our drug next example is change in particle size of suspension as we know that suspension means it is the biphasic doses form where solid particle are suspended in the liquid when if we are keeping it for a longer time if the storage condition and product age is longer the solid particle which are suspended in liquid might get settled down and form a cake which will not be redispersed while using which can affect the absorption of our drug next one is manufacturing variables many processes involved in the manufacturing influences the dissolution and thereby absorption of a drug form for example tablet manufactured by wet granulation dry granulation or direct compression as you know that wet granulation means you can see in picture that we will use some wet binder so that we can aggregate certain small dry particles into one to form a granules which are harder than the dry granules as well as direct compression so if they are harder means they will have longer disintegration and longer dissolution which will affect the absorption of our drug whereas direct compression means it doesn't require any binders so that it can be disintegrated and dissolved dissolved in short time so that it can be absorbed in our systemic circulation very easily so so that absorption of drug will be faster and easier thank you for watching friend if you think this video was useful for you please don't forget to like and share this video with your friend and if you are new to my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel whereas don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification of my next upcoming video on time my next upcoming video will be on patient related factor which affect the drug absorption so stay safe stay healthy keep watching be updated thank you